we have a new patch and a new class. And for once, Lava did not post this like 30 minutes after I went to bed. Instead, this update came in a reasonable time, 17.38. Anyway, we got the Siege Breaker class now. Spawn plunderous mobs and obliterate them with cannon attacks. 3D printer now accessible from QuickRef. Construction is now fully accessible from QuickRef. Added five new printer storage slots for the 3D printer and two of them are free, hooray! Add a loot filter to the card section of the codex. Filter out drops you don't want. Added a premium stat swapper stone for premium hats in a gemstone. Cost 25 gems and can be used infinitely. It allows you to transfer powerful premium hat bonuses from bundles to other premium hats, even once you premify using the premifier in a gem shop. And we got new stuff in a limited shop in a gem shop. So let's take a look at all of that. Here we got the 3D printer, and here we got plenty of new stuff. Well, this is gonna be quite helpful. So yeah, now you can have all the resources that you need, pretty much, in one character. So if you need something, you can switch to it. You can see view only as well. You can see I can't really do anything here. I can't craft. Now it says what you can and cannot do. I can't upgrade anything. But if you go to gaming, I can harvest all. So pretty good. We got some more function in the quick ref, including the construction. This is nice. Before you couldn't move the cogs, but now you can move them. Now I don't have to run to world three all the time. And here's the item filter. Yeah, I'm gonna find that. Here it is, thank you. White headband. I'm trying to find, there we go. That's the one. I think that's it pretty much. Maybe you can get rid of these, but yeah. They stack up, so I don't care about them much. Ooh, the chef ring maybe. But then again, I don't really farm these guys anymore. Yeah, I think that's it. When are you farming some Amarok? Ooh, inventory bag G, that's an annoying one. I think that's all of the items I want to block out for now. Maybe I will come up with something later. And let's check out the gem shop here. Random hyper obol. Cool. But no thanks. More cosmic candy. Freebie candy. Hey, nice. So remember to go to this place and buy your freebie candy. Siege Captain Cap. Avast matey, this here premium hat has got a 10% drop rate bonus, so it's be extra pricey. Wow, that's not good. It's so cute, oh my god, this little fella, it's a premium hat that sits at the top of your head. I like this dog, but I'm eh, not sure about that one, it's too big. Shame, guilt, sadness, premium hat, pain, degradation, yeah. I think I might buy this one, but not sure through who. And here's the premium hat swapper. Put two hats on either side of this stone and it'll swap the special bonuses between them. Works with premium hats as well as normal hats that you premiumified. So you have to use this hat premiumifier if you want to use a normal hat with special abilities. Let's buy the paper bag hat. It's too much fun to not have it. Oh, right. It goes here. Hello. But no. Pick an axe as his blue hammer and red hat, and he will always use that. So let's check out Palebow here. What do you have to offer? And look at that, the entire lab disconnected. This is pretty impressive. For some reason, it actually saved my old preset here, even though I have logged in on another computer. Usually that gets wiped out. Right, you already leveled up quite a bit. Go to World 4 then. So let's see here, fire a large cannonball forward, dealing tons of damage, fires off a spread of four mini cannonballs that deal some damage, recklessly throw bombs around you which explode, kills can spawn plunderous mobs with 12 times 8 bean, tons of more XP and drop reward, Ooh. kill plunderous mobs to enable coin drops for 20 seconds, which respawns mob and auto loot, and auto loot, oh ho. I don't have auto loot. So let's put these guys on, see what they look like. And there's the massive cannonball. Here's the flag uh, with a zero on it. Not sure if it needs more points or I have to spawn one of them first or something. So weapon power for every 10 sailing level. I have 33. Then these old ones here, kill per kill. Agia is better. 
and more agi than the family guy bonus and here is a new one when loot pile is almost full ships can upgrade previous chest instead of filling pile holy shit plus 0.33 percent chest loot wow oh 21 percent chest loot that's a bit better sailing xp game for all characters oh nice give me that all captains gain more xp from well sailing more xp and drop rate per power of 10 kills of plunderous mobs hmm. so we have another active class here still don't know why it says zero i don't know it's broken i would not be too surprised since i never play active i will just put this guy in the lab again i mean he got a bit better okay we still have a zero percent here or rather a zero and you keep the flag when you travel that's cool i like how that mini shotgun thing just bounces off oh well it wasted it how about you stand still here and i can show it boing boing, boing, boing. <laughs> so yeah that was the new siege breaker captains level up faster you level up faster and you get more loot sounds pretty good and here is my pirate flag we have some quality stuff as well completely overhauled certain behind the scenes tech so the game will run smoother crash less and provide an overall better experience well we shall see about this added view only display so you know which quick ref features actually allow you to interact with them yes the small eye we looked at that before spear type weapons no longer hit multiple enemies if used by a non-warrior class sorry spearheads but your time has come so everyone can use a spear because that's the first weapon and the first weapon only needs a beginner and since everyone is a beginner technically they could use a spear and that meant they could one shot multiple enemies if they had a strength to do that of course this is a good thing i never used this trick really because I didn't feel like a ranger or mage should have a spear. So I'm glad this has changed. Adjusted homing arrow talent to be a bit more choosy with its target. So each cast hits more unique enemies and further away enemies. That's good. Sometimes this skill just piled up on the same enemy and you one shot it like 10 times. So your powerful ability only killed one guy. Buffed strength as garb warrior talent strength from equipment is worth more strength to give the same bonus that the equivalent talent for archers and mages give that's interesting i didn't know they were different it's a pretty bad skill you know because you don't really have that much strength from equipment well i guess by this point most people have unlimited points for the second tab so it's fine added the fabled t damage indicator shows up if you do more than nine 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 million damage in a single hit so do we have a billion damage i don't know and some balance changes decrease the base xp multiplier of crystal monsters from 35x to 30x changed auto loot to trigger every five seconds instead of 15 seconds not sure if this will reduce or increase the lag but you probably want to loot as often as you can so it's fine boosted arrow speed by 40 percent for all archers Ooh, not bad both divine knight and seed breaker family bonuses are boosted by family guy talent in addition to the family bonuses your character provides this way you don't need to swap to dk and sp to most effectively use uh, their family bonuses okay i never really look at these anymore they are like who cares really Altered Magma Core Headdress Helmet to 6% all stats. Previously, it gave both 5% all stats and 6% damage. Well, I'm glad I never crafted it. If you have lots of stats, this is better, maybe. And bug fixes. Fixed a rare but deadly crash involving cards that would lock people out of characters. This is fixed and will no longer happen. How many people here? It's me, Joe, it's me, I wanna know. Hooray, it's me. So I think Lava is streaming right now and we're gonna have a new contest 52. If you think your flag score is best in a game, so it's the same as this one here. If you think orb score is best in the game. So yeah, it's the exact same contest. And don't forget to react to this one. 
for chance to win 2100 gems. Hey, we get more gems this time. Oh, but only four random people. It was five here. Hmm. Well, that's it for this patch. Not really that special. So if we look at the family bonuses, you can see all skill AFK gain, world five stuff. This one is not out yet. I'm guessing this is divinity. And then all stats are better. Faster minimum boat travel time and refinery speed and total damage. This really adds up. Getting a high level really helps. You know what? I'm gonna try to get a uh, one of those plunder mobs, guys. So yeah, we have new class. Tons of quality of life. Pretty good, pretty good. Can't complain. I don't have the right cards on, but that shouldn't really matter. Hey, there we go. Oh, it was one. Three. Oh. Hey, look, I get some skull things. And okay, it's nothing. I guess it's just more stuff. What did it say? Oh, which respawn mobs in auto loot. I didn't see the chest, but oh well. Anyway, so that's what it looks like. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.